a last washdown before being shipped back to the United States, some of the 28,000 American vehicles that are leaving Afghanistan. Most heavy equipment like this won't go to the Afghan government. We do not want to transfer equipment over to uh, the Afghan army or whoever if it cannot be maintained. I mean, because it's not good for them and it's not good for us. The Afghans won't be left empty-handed. Damaged and old vehicles are being cut up for scrap. And it's not just the big stuff that's going. There's office equipment, supplies, and anything else used in the field or in bases in the past 12 years. 60% of all that is expected to remain in Afghanistan. There's about 100,000 of these containers in theater. Uh, estimate that there's multiple billions of dollars worth of stuff, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of items. Much of it comes here, to a sorting yard at Kandahar Airfield, where workers decide whether it can be reused or thrown away. A large part of the logistics mission is making sure equipment ends up where it's needed. These trucks, for example, will for now be sent to another part of Afghanistan. But the United States is shipping 28,000 vehicles out of the country in the next year and a half, part of $30 billion worth of equipment it must get out of Afghanistan when the NATO mission ends in 2014. Because Afghanistan is landlocked, equipment has to be moved by road through Pakistan or north through Central Asia or it has to be flown out. It's a complicated logistical maneuver to withdraw military equipment. What's important is that the soldiers who are left behind still have the equipment they need to defend themselves. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kandahar.